Hey guys, I'm here in the Tokyo International Forum in the heart of Tokyo, and I want to show you today an interesting architectural photo and how to go beyond the obvious shot and create something truly incredible. Hey guys, Lucas from iExplore here. So today I'm shooting in the International Forum. Um, as you can see, it's a really cool structure and we can get some interesting shots as is, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. But also after that, I wanna encourage you guys to kind of look around, explore the scene and see if you can get a more you know, creative and out of the box shot in a already spectacular location. So for this scene, let's talk about the settings. What I've chosen for my aperture is F8. And the reason is, there's a lot going on here, a lot of depth. I, I want to get everything pretty sharp, so I'm trying to use F8, which gives me a more uh, deep DOF. Then um, to get the exposure right with the F8, I have a hundredth of a second shutter, and ISO is 200, okay? Now, in terms of framing, it's a cool scene, but it's easy to get carried away and try to include too much. Less is more, so what I'm gonna try to do is focus mostly on the impressive ceiling, and the walkways, so we can try a couple of shots where I use angles, right? I can get only the ceiling, okay? Different ways in order to create, you know, simple yet dramatic compositions, right? So it's sort of minimalistic in a way. You know, I'm not trying to get everything down there. There's actually a lot of people down there right now, and they're kind of not necessary in the frame that I'm trying to create. Okay guys, so I just showed you a, you know, pretty cool but fairly straightforward architectural shot at the other end of this of this international forum. But now over here, all the way at the end of the building, in this hidden little corner, there's actually a piece of glass and if you frame things just right, you get a really awesome reflection shot. So, I'm going to put the camera, notice I'm putting the lens right on the glass there, aiming a little bit high, okay, and then it's all about angles, it's all about, you know, I'm aiming a little bit that way. Yeah, I'm gonna try a vertical one. You see that? So I'm just trying, you know, all kinds of different angles to get an interesting shot. My exposure settings are the same for the scene before because the light's the same. So I didn't need to change anything. It's really all about composition and ideas. I explained how to do the shot with, you know, a proper camera, but you know, this works with a phone. It's the kind of a shot where, in a way, a phone is actually kind of better. And the reason is, the lens on the phone is so much smaller that it allows you to get really close to the glass. And when, when you get closer like this, you know, what happens is that the reflection becomes more dramatic and more pronounced. So a phone, in many ways, gives kind of an advantage for this sort of shot. So I encourage you guys to go out there and, and use your phones as well. Don't hesitate. All right, guys, so today I went over how to do, you know, a, kind of a basic architectural sort of you know, walking photo. It's not a formal architectural photo, but it is an interesting way to photograph architecture. But also what I hope I have demonstrated is that if you go outside of the box, you really look around, explore the environment, look for interesting surfaces where you can do a reflection or shoot through something, whatever. And by thinking outside the box and by being creative, you know, working the scene, you're gonna get more dramatic and impressive shots. So get out there, and challenge your eye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe, please hit that like button, and if you have any questions or comments or any ideas for future videos, please let us know below in the comments.